What's good? This is JVB representing SPD and that is sportsperdm.com. I've been doing videos for the last year and a half and the main topic it seems like I talk about the most is Mitch Trubisky. Some of you guys and girls may not know this, but a year ago I did a video telling Bears fans that you should believe in Mitch Trubisky. First of all, <laughs> how fucking wrong I was. Now, let's keep it real. You know, I wasn't the only one who wanted to believe in Mitch Trubisky. A lot of you guys, some of you guys, not all of you, but some of you guys felt the same way. At least you wanted to believe in Mitch Trubisky. You know, you had blind faith in Mitch Trubisky that he could progress on what he did the previous season in 2018 and display an even better season in 2019. Unfortunately, we saw what the hell happened and it was a bad fucking season for Mitch Trubisky, the Chicago Bears offense, and the Chicago Bears team overall. So now that brings us here present day, training camp 2020. Now Mitch Trubisky has competition. As we all know, the Chicago Bears this offseason acquired Nick Foles from the Jacksonville Jaguars and he is competing with Mr. Trubisky to see who will be the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears this upcoming 2020-2021 season. So, of course, with the whole coronavirus situation, we don't have any preseason games to go by, you know. So all we can do is look at the Chicago Bears media and listen to the beat writers, the guys and the girls covering the Bears and see what exactly is going on with the team. Now, there's been some reporters who believe Mr. Trubisky's winning the job. Yes, I know. Very few. But the overwhelming majority is that Nick Foles, this is his job to lose. Right now, on this day, Nick Foles is the Bears starting quarterback. And from everything that I've heard, it's not like Nick Foles is lighting it up. You know, it's not like he's going out there and he's Patrick Mahomes, he's Aaron Rodgers in his prime, you know, he's Tom Brady in his prime. He's Russell Wilson. He's Lamar Jackson. He's he's none of that. You know, it's Nick Foles. He's Nick Foles for a reason. But the main thing everybody is saying is that Nick Foles looks like a quarterback. Remember what Mr. Trubisky said. I'm pissed off. They acquired another quarterback to compete with me for my starting quarterback job. I'm pissed off. I'm going to win this job. I'm going to be the Bears starting quarterback. My teammates believe in me. I believe in me. I'm going to be the Bears starting quarterback. When he said all that, what did I say? It's good to say it. It's good to believe it. But can you produce? Can you put out what you're thinking about? What you believe? Can you bring that on the field? Can you show that to the coaches? to your teammates, to the reporters, to the fans, to everybody. Can you go out there and be the quarterback that you're saying you're going to be? Or are you just going to be the same old Mr. Trubisky? You go out and you say all these things. And Mr. Trubisky, you know, he's a good guy. You know, he is a hard worker. But at the end of the day, you got to produce. You have to produce in this league, you have to produce in sports in general or you're going to lose your job. He's gone out in this training camp and he's the same old Mitch. He's overthrowing guys by 50 yards. And I know I'm exaggerating probably a little bit, but maybe I'm not. Maybe he is overthrowing guys by 30, 40, 50 yards. You know, we, we don't know. But what we do know is he's still overthrowing guys. He's still not confident in the huddle. He still can't run a two-minute offense efficiently. Every bad pass he's had, every interception he's thrown, as soon as he throw that ball, he put his head down. As soon as, soon as he... <sighs> That's Mr. Trubisky. Ain't nothing changed but the year. It's the same old Mr. Trubisky, and that's the reason why he will be the backup quarterback once the season starts. It's not because Nick Foles is some Hall of Fame quarterback. Yes, he won a Super Bowl. He's a Super Bowl MVP, but he is still a journeyman quarterback. He's Nick Foles. But guess what? At least Nick Foles did win a Super Bowl. At least Nick Foles went out there and he had game-winning drives in the playoffs against the Bears, matter of fact. At least he's had some kind of success. He knows he's not the greatest quarterback, but he knows what the hell he's doing back there. 
unlike Mitch Trubisky. So Mitch not winning the quarterback job, and I know it's not official. You know, all of a sudden he may win a quarterback job because Ryan Pace threatens Matt Nagy to start Mitch Trubisky at the beginning of the season. But besides that happening or Nick Foles getting hurt at the start of the season, Nick Foles will be the starting quarterback. Mitch Trubisky will be the backup. And if you miss Trubisky, that's a damn shame. But I'm out. Like the video and share the video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take it easy. God bless. Peace.